Okay, so let's uh, let's talk about the first sorting algorithm that we've met, which is the insertion sort. I think the best way to do this is to show you a list of unsorted numbers. I've put them in red because they're unsorted, obviously. So this is an unsorted sequence, uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go step by step through and show you exactly how an insertion sort would would get these into order. Basically, the insertion sort works usually from the left to the right. It takes the the numbers one at a time. So if it takes the number 15, that's the first number in the sequence that's there, it treats it like a list of one item, and that one item is, is in order. The other items in the list have yet to be sorted. So we write that out again like this. And you think, oh, we've just written the same list again. But you'll see why it kind of works in a second. Okay, so the first item's in order. The next thing, so that's that item. The second item, the second thing we, we look at the second item in that list, and we put it in place in the first list. So in other words, it would go before the 15. The rest of the list is still unsorted. So if it was in a, if I was trying to communicate this algorithm to somebody, this is how I would write it down. Basically, this is what I'm trying to say here. Convoluted kind of fashion. Um, right, third one, I'd look at the number two, and I'd put the two in place. So that's two, 12, 15. Every time what I'm doing is I'm inserting the next item in the right place in the list. That's why it's called an insertion sort. No mysteries there. Um, and I'm going to labour this point a bit. I might actually, <laughs> I might actually ignore um, the last two things there just to speed life up a bit. Because time's precious, isn't it? There you go. <laughs> Magically vanished. Um, so where were we now on the green pen? So I'm looking at number nine next. The nine goes in between there, 12 and the 15. And then we're left with the 13 on its own. And the last thing I do is I check that the number 13 and where that goes and I pop that in place, 2, 12, 13 and 15 and I've got a sorted list. The, the, the whole point of a, a an insertion sort is as the name suggests, it literally takes the next number and inserts it into the right place, working back through the list. Now the actual algorithm itself, when you see the algorithm itself, is slightly more complicated because if, let's take one of these central scenarios here, let, let's pick on this one. Let's say pick um, this partially sorted uh, list here, and I'll, I'll explain what happens with it. So I'm going to kind of expand what happens in this in this section here. Okay, so I'm going to take that bit out, and I'm going to show you what happens when it starts to do its sort. So 12, uh, 15 is where we were at the beginning, and then we've got like the 2, the 9, and the 13, which is there. Um, okay, first stage, look at the 2. Okay. The, the the two it, compare the two with the fifteenth in the wrong place. Swap those two around. So you you end up with this sort of intermediate situation where you've got get this right. You get the twelve there. You've kind of got the two which is on its way down, um, and the fifteen is swapped with it. Now the fifteen's in its final resting place, which is there, and the nine and the thirteen are just hanging about waiting. So nine and thirteen, and then what happens next is the two is then compared to the 12 and because they're still out of order um, get my numbers right okay the 2 swaps with the 12 15 where it was before and then you get the um, the 9 and the 13 I mean essentially I suppose when the 9 goes into position the 9 sits in here the 9 kind of swaps with the 15 swaps with the 12 and then stops because it compares itself to the 2 the 2 smaller so it doesn't need to move there so that's why the 9 ends up there and uh, same for the 13. The 13 only got to do one swap and it's in the right place. So that that's, that's, that's kind of the way it works. Now the algorithm itself, I'll show you the algorithm itself, which looks a bit like this. It's a bit of a nightmare on this one. Okay, It's a tricky old fella. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll try and go through this because I've got a bit of time to go through this. I'll try and go through this and, 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 and sort of explain what's, what's going on um, if I can. You've got a little bit of initialization going on at the top, which is up there. And the main part of the algorithm is this section in, in the center, which is here. You've basically got two loops. And, and, and if, you, if you look carefully, you should be able to see the two loops, which are here. There's one that starts there and, I've, and, and goes right down to the bottom, actually. And there's one that starts here um, and goes down to that, that end. If I've not put the end whiles and the end fours in there, but they, they would be there naturally anyway. And basically what this first outer loop is doing, this first outer loop here, it's working, it, it's looking at the next item. So it's looking at the next item in that list. And then this uh, while loop in the middle is working the item down, work item down into place. 
into play. So there's kind of two things going on here. There's the outer list that's working its way steadily up the list of numbers, and there's this inner inner loop which is working the numbers back to where they they, they should end up. Now I'm going to do a Python implementation of this, but um, to just to show you how it works in practice, and hopefully you know it'll be it'll be fairly clear. Um, but again, if, if I was you, I would totally remember this kind of an example for how to demonstrate how the insertion sort works. Piece of cake, really is a piece of cake. 